Hello there everyone, this is Utkata J6 back once again with a video for Immediate Craft version 0 0.4. 0 0.4 pro focused primarily on getting the former items and recipes back into Immediate Craft, at least for the first few stages. So without further ado, here are some of the major changes, major additions. First of all, for each of the new metals, there is some kind of new recipe. There is some kind of use for that metal. So, allow me to go through those. First of all, we have lead ingots. Lead ingots are going to have a very important use very soon in Mediate Craft. But for right now, their only purpose is a replacement for the rail recipe. Not a replacement, but a supplementary rail recipe. This recipe will give you a full 20 rails. It's supposed to be high efficiency. The second replacement is aluminum ingots. Aluminum replaces or is a supplement for the shears recipe. Next we have lazurite. If we recall from last video, this is the new drop from lapis ore. Lazurite, if you put it in a circle of nine around, a block of nine gives you lapis lazuli block, which then crafts back into lazurite. The point of this, as we recall, is to make sure that anybody's mod can add a blue dye, a blue flower, which gives lapis, which gives blue dye cheaply, and yet doesn't compromise the value of, la of um, the lapis mineral itself, here depicted as lazurite. Um, continuing along, silver crafts into silver needles. These will have a very important purpose, a couple of very important purposes upcoming in immediate craft. But the recipe is the same as aluminum shears recipe. Uh, next up, pyrite. Remember, this is the, the possible drop from gold ore now. Pyrite crafts into flint and steel along with an iron ingot. Maybe I have those reversed. Yes, I do. Just a simple replacement recipe, again, based on real life there. Um, next up, we have the overwritten recipes. So you can no longer use iron to construct a compass. You now need to use lodestones for this. Um, lodestones are going to be a fairly rare material, so I'm going to actually have compasses dropping inside different chests across the world, as we'll see at some point. Um, the next replacement recipe is for the minecarts. The minecart, the basic minecart now requires gears on its bottom. However, this gives two minecarts out. The next replacement recipe, and I'm afraid the most complicated of the replacement recipes, is for the fishing rod. The fishing rod is completely changed. We still have our three stick infrastructure here. However, we need to be able to cast it, so we have a button and a gear. We need a stronger material for the rope so the fish don't break it. And finally, we have cork. If I perhaps mix these two up, yes I have, button and gear. And finally we have cork as the bobber of the rod. Um, cork is a very important immediate material which is obtained um, by putting a sapling of any kind actually into a stewing pot and this will produce cork. I'll go into more depth about the heat based recipes in immediate craft in the next video thankfully. Um, these are some of the most basic changes. However, let me go through a couple of other things that are, you're going to need to know over the coming releases in just a moment here. The other half of the recipes that were added in this version of Mediate Craft are for various chunks. Um, these chunks are just uncontained lumps of something. In many cases, chunks are elements, such as here we see lithium. However, a lot of these elemental items, again, are behind the scenes and aren't going to be involved unless you choose to mess with them far later on. So in Mediate, there are three special types of chunks that deserve having attention drawn to them because they aren't as intuitive as, say, I destroyed this lead block and now I have a chunk of lead. So these three are alkali metal chunks, alkaline metal chunks, and toxic metal chunks. Each of these chunks represents three possible elements. Alkali is uh, possibly from the elements that look like it, lithium, potassium, or sodium. Alkaline chunks are a little more complicated. They can be either magnesium, beryllium, or calcium. For those of you who know chemistry, this is group 1 and group 2. The third type is toxic metal chunks, and the three elements associated with the toxic metal chunks are, in this long list of mostly behind-the-scenes items, possibly arsenic, possibly selenium, and possibly lead, wherever it is hiding. 
which is something I'd love to know. There it is, lead. The toxic metal chunk, you're not going to want to be concerned with right away. However, we'll see in very, in very few videos here just why we want to worry about the soft metal chunks, and or the alkali metal chunks, sorry, and the alkali earth metal chunks, alkaline. As for getting the actual chunks, we can't do anything with them in their elemental form. We want them in a form that's malleable, so we want to make them into the chunks from the elements that you'll get from other things. There are three ways, three combinations for each special type of mediate metal. You can either put all three of an element together in any order, so I just have three lithiums and that gave me alkali metal, and that would also work with potassium or sodium, or you can have one of each of the three different types that make up that chunk, and these are shapeless recipes. The same case applies with the alkaline. I can have one of each, or, I mean, I can have all three the same type, or I can have one of each, and that'll get me the alkaline metal chunks. Finally, if we look to the toxic metal chunks, we would see the same thing. Now, what in the devil's name are these for, right? Well, we'll see that in the next video. For now, this is just explaining some of the basic recipes. Thank you very much.